Oh no, my hair. How's continuity? Hi, I'm Kitty. I'm a cinematographer based in San Francisco, and today we're gonna to be checking out what's in my camera bag. So the first bag we're gonna talk about is my Manfrotto Agile V sling bag. And this is great for street photography, vacations, travel, if you just need a lens or two. It's on Amazon right now for like $90. It's pretty convenient if you just wanna bring a lens and some batteries. So the top portion, you could put batteries, chargers, phone, your wallet. The back portion, you can't really fit a laptop, but you can fit your iPad. And then the best part about this bag is that it's just one strap. You sling it over, hence sling bag. And it's super easy to just grab a camera, change your lenses. You don't even have to take it off to get to what you need. So onto my next bag that I would take on a typical shoot day. It's pretty convenient, it has pretty much every pocket I would need except a laptop pocket. Inside, I have my camera body. This could actually fit two camera bodies, but right now I only have one with the lens attached. Um, I'm using the Sony a7R II, which I love, love, love to death right now. And on it, I have a 24 to 105 Canon lens with the Metabones adapter, which work conveniently all together. Has 46, has 46, me <laughs> oh man. So what I like about this camera is that it shoots 42 megapixels. And the most important thing for me as a cinematographer is it shoots internal 4K video. And it's really good in low light. It's compact, it's a lot lighter than, I used to shoot on a 5D. My next item is my Canon L100 macro lens. Very useful, very sharp. Also one of my favorites is a 24 1.4 wide lens. Really good in low light, versatile. I also carry a little GoPro with me because I do a lot of time lapse. It's easy to clamp, easy to work. Even with the battery backpack, the battery life on these GoPros dies really quickly, like within an hour. So my little trick is I bought one of these on Amazon. It's got 10,000 milliamps and they're around $40. Pretty good price. It's got two USBs. Next, I have a Rode mic. It helps with the audio. I don't really use it for audio. I just use it to help sync. And then for recording audio, I have a Zoom H4n, one of the best little handheld devices you could have in your arsenal. Boom, Zoom, get it, 300 bucks. Another need to have in your camera bag is gaff tape, because you never know when you need a band-aid for something, or to wrap cables down on the floor so no one trips on it. A clamp, versatile. Lens cleaning fluid and tissues, which I have in this pocket. A lens blower. These are super cool, and you always get lots of comments from people who aren't in photography. They always wanna know what that is. Battery charger. What I like about this bag also is these two pockets on the inside, which are see-through, so you could just see what you need to grab before you even open it. In the top portion, I put my cards, a little booklet of cards in here. My different size quick plates. The bottom portion is where I like to keep my tools. Always have a multi-tool with you because you never know when your tripod will go down or you need to cut something. Simple Allen wrench and lens cleaning tissues. Okay, moving on to the next pocket of mine. This is where I store my batteries. Extra batteries for pretty much everything. A bunch of rechargeable double A's. And then about, I carry four Sony batteries because these don't last very long. Not as long as Canon. Okay for kitty. Another good item to have if you do a lot of talking heads, interviews, video. These are Sennheiser G3s, wireless lobs. Very good quality, I suggest you get one if you don't already. Another good tool to have with you if you do a lot of live audio recording is this attenuator. 
That way you could take a line level into your Zoom. And then of course a wallet, cash, cards, ID. And my last pocket is just personals. Little tissues if you need to blow your nose. This has little baby Taz on it. <laughs> Phone charger. I also carry emergency just in case you start to get the sniffles or someone's sick on set and you don't want that ever happening to you. Then for you people with allergies out there, carry your EpiPen with you if you need one of these. I always bring it with me and I also carry extra Benadryl in my wallet because you don't want allergies ruining your work day. And then some lip balm. And lastly, for you people that have dirty hands, carry hand sanitizer with you. Mine's festive. I like it because it's pink. Carry hand sanitizer with you. People wrap cables and then they don't wash their hands. Lord only knows what's on those things. And that is it. This is my arsenal. I've gotten a lot of requests to do this video, so I hope this was insightful and helped you guys figure out what you need in your bag. That's it. Now I mean, well